The Asylum Demon is the thesis statement of Dark Souls. When you first encounter it, assuming you're not a speedrunner, it is an overwhelming enemy forcing you to flee with your tail between your legs. You then go away, strengthen yourself, gather equipment, and find a path to get above it, which allows you to start the fight with a powerful plunging attack for massive damage. The game is teaching you wordlessly that any enemy, no matter how overwhelming or intimidating, can be defeated with a bit of grind and exploration and clever tactics. As a design, the demon is a fairly stereotypical demon overlord, huge, angry, fleshy, and bulbous, and armed with an absolutely enormous weapon. It is vastly more intimidating than the human hollows you otherwise face in the Undead Asylum, but it also lets you know that the world of Lordran is beset by more than just the undead curse. There are demons walking this land. The best detail about the Asylum Demon, though, is its crown of bone. Again, a stereotypical demon overlord design feature, but here, given some additional meaning by context, Dark Souls begins as it will end, with the death of a king. Subscribe to this channel for shorts or watch my full Soulsborne analysis series on my main channel.